Very nice. Yes. Oh, 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 it doesn't want to share. Hey everybody, uh, good morning. Today we are going to be doing another episode of Meet the Characters, Suja and Bongani. So those are the two lines we're gonna focus on this morning. We're gonna take them out on an enrichment walk and we're gonna get to know them better. So stick around and enjoy. One thing I forgot to mention is that this entire walk depends on whether Suja wants to load or not. So Suja is a real character and uh, he's gotta be in the mood to do, a few, to do a lot of things. Uh, Bongani is always keen on doing most things, so he's not a problem. But Suja is quite the introvert. All right, so we have arrived at the boys. Hello, boy, yeah. Hello, my boy. So two ways to load in the loading cage. One is through the back door, the other is through the front door. I might try both, uh, but yeah, he's really in a fantastic mood today. Okay, in you go. In you go. Oh my hat. Suja is the first in. This has got to be a miracle. Yeah, Bongani. Yeah, Suji. <laughs> it's got to be a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Uh, what can I say? Suja. <laughs> Suja is uh, in top four and uh, raring to go. I think that is the first time in years that Suja has got into the vehicle before Bongani. He normally takes his lead from Bongani. He was gonna take uh, Bongani and Suja and drop them by the dam, and then they can do what they want from there. All right, so we've arrived at the location where we're gonna let them out and let them go and wander. Uh, it's pretty central, so yeah, now it's up to them as to what they want to do. So it's their walk. Hello, big boy. Oh! Oh, Bonkani! That's not a very graceful dismount, my boy. <laughs> and like that, they're off. Who to follow? I don't know. Do I follow Suja or Bongani? <laughs> Maybe Bongani. Suja's off in his own direction. Bongani doing what a confident male lion would be doing is rubbing on the trees and marking his territory and listening and looking. Hey big boy. Oh. For the first part of the walk, these lions will be very interested in what's out here. Bongani is a over 16 year old male lion. 16, you heard me right. So he is getting on in age. And so 16 is a good innings for a lion anyway in captivity. Um, lions can live past 20, but most of the time at about 20, uh, you're going to start to see um, old age effects. So Bongani is a would be considered an old lion. And the interesting thing too about Bongani is that about two years ago, um, Bongani uh, became very lethargic, uh, start, stopped eating, uh, and, and in a very short space of time, his condition deteriorated. He was in a condition whereby the vet said I'm gonna I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna check him in and so that's what he did and so when we we got the blood results back it was uh, shown that um, Borgani had coronavirus. FECOV it's a different 
It's a different strain to the one that we um, are, are getting in humans and they seem to live with it quite fine until such a time as there's a compromised immune system. And when that occurs, uh, it can mutate into something known as feline infectious peritonitis. And that is what Bongani uh, was diagnosed with. And for, for those who know about FIP in cats, it's a deadly, deadly disease. So um, it, it spells the death of that animal. It's a death sentence. He was kept at the vet for what seemed like an eternity, but I think it was in the region of uh, five to six weeks. Um, I would visit him regularly and progressively we saw a, a positive change in Bongani and to the point where now I think it's two years on that's what we're looking at. So a 16 year old lion um, who's picked up weight again, his hair and skin is looking great, he has energy, uh, he has attitude. <laughs> and Bongani's always had attitude, so, you know, you would know that something's wrong with Bongani if he didn't come up for, um, for some love or if uh, he just sat there in the enclosure and didn't respond to your calls, you would know that something's wrong with Bongani. Anyway, over a period of time, Bongani seemed to get better to the point where Dr. Caldwell said, okay, well, Kev, take him back to your facility. He's better off there than, than just staying at the vet. Lo and behold, he came back and just over time got stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where Bongani is the Bongani where, um, who we know today. Bongani enjoys his rub in the, in the poo poo or urine or some smell that I don't know and, and uh, Suji comes up to see what he's doing and why he's having such fun. Hello boy. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is, my boys. Enjoy. Whilst out. Very nice. Yes. Oh, 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 it doesn't want to share. Bongani, you see? Confident and cocky Bongani. No wonder Suj is so insecure. Eh? Sure. Getting back to Bongani. So Bongani, um, Having been diagnosed with feline infectious peritonitis was literally on death's door. And so um, I was told that I should just, you know, start to prepare for the worst, that Bongani might not be with us in a few months time and that we should just uh, appreciate every day um, that we have with this beautiful cat. And, and, and shouldn't that be the case anyway, all the, all the time? You know, why? <laughs> why should we appreciate Bongani any less or more uh, because he has or has not got a disease? So anyway, that's the theory behind looking after Bongani and all the other animals. Uh, we should love them every day um, and treat them as if it's their last day every day. All right, so Bongani, we haven't even touched on Bongani's personality. Confident is the word that comes to mind. So consistent, but confident. So Bongani will always jump into the vehicle. If Bongani doesn't jump into the vehicle, you know that there's something probably wrong with Bongani. The same thing with Bongani jumping or going into the, the night pen. Bongani not going into the night pen probably means there's something not quite right with Bongani. So he's a very confident cat. He normally leads the way. Um, Suja definitely lagging behind at the moment. Going to let Suji pass. Go big boy. Look how he is very cautious and then runs by. <laughs> Just in case Kevin does something to him. And now he's going to run, 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 run to catch up to Bongani. There he goes. He's running to catch up to Bongani. Uh, and that is just the typical scenario. Bongani in the lead, Suja second. Hello boy. And there he's enjoying rolling in some poo-poo. Oh, hello boy. 
do not disturb me Kev, I am rolling. Okay, so Suja has come to this fence and he has seen on the other side of the fence a gorgeous lion called Meg. <laughs> Meg lion. So this is the lion that uh, we tried to match make with Suja uh, quite a while ago and that just didn't work out. So he is very familiar with, with Meg. I think he's terrified of her secretly. Um, but uh, anyway, we might, we might still have to match make in the, the months, years to come. You, you're, you're tired, my boy, eh? He's very tired. Painting away. Suja um, is, is quite a nervous cat. So he is highly reactive to situations. And this can in turn stress him out. And when, when Suja gets stressed, there's no way you're going to get him to do anything. So if Suji um, doesn't want to do something, there's no way you're going to get Suji to do it. That's the simple, that's the simple truth. Suji does things only because he wants to do them. Suji has never, as far as I know or can remember, had any health issues. His, that part there on his body I wanted to talk about because look at his buttocks. He still has incredible um, butt cheeks. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that about a lion, but Suja has really beautiful butt cheeks. His gluteus maximus is mwah. Um, so he's got good hamstrings, he's got good muscle tone, um, and he is a lean machine. He's very alert. Look at that alertness. This lion does not let his guard down for one moment. Look at his eyes. They are locked on Meg. Um, whereas Bongani doesn't really care. He knows that there's nothing untoward going to happen here. You look at your tongue, you see what happened to your tongue. That is uh, purely being a foolish boy. Here comes the car. Hello boys. Yes. You're not going to walk away now. Hey. <laughs> Bongani. Yeah, Suji! Yeah, Suji, Suji. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No boy, come. No, -uh. no, no. Tch, tch, tch. Don't take it. These two boys, they are very tired and thirsty, and therefore don't really have an appetite. So you got to give them about 10, 15 minutes to cool down. Yeah, Suji. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suji. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mind your tail. Oh, slowly does it. Because no mind my hand. You don't wanna you don't wanna um, slam the gate in Suja's face because that's a surefire way to make 
that this cat never load again. You want to make this experience the most awesome time of this lion's life. He looks so, he just looks so tired. Shame, my boy. <laughs> Eating good long. He doesn't even want to eat, he's just so tired. <laughs> Do you see what's so funny with Bongani is when he's had enough, he gets, a, he gets in on his own accord he, and it's not because of the food. He gets in because he's tired and then he sits there and waits. He's so good. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, obviously, Suji requires a little bit more uh, effort, but uh, even Suji is a good boy. And today has been an exceptional boy. Hey, George? Yeah, yeah, he's been amazing. <laughs> hey? Okay, guys, so while I head back to the enclosure to offload Suji and Bongani, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have subscribed lately and those who continue to subscribe and watch the videos. I just wanted to also say thank you to the members uh, because the members for your donation monthly um, are enabling us to really be able to perform during this period of lockdown. Uh, your membership amounts, although nominal, you might not think you're contributing a lot, it adds up and it really, I was saying to somebody the other day, you'd be surprised how far it goes to helping sustain the sanctuary and making sure that the animals really get the best care and attention that they deserve. <laughs> and off they go. So guys, until next time, uh, until the next installment of Meet the Characters, bye.